Boy, no, G. <laughs> Have you ever had a moment where you wanted to pay for something using your card but could not? It's a very frequent and frustrating problem here in the Caribbean. At Ching, we are solving this problem. We've created a mobile app that allows you to accept credit cards on any device, anytime, anywhere. It's as simple as scanning the card with the built-in camera of the device, letting the customer sign with their finger, and sending a receipt. With Jing, there's no need to go to the bank. Simply download the app and sign up in minutes. Our onboarding process is a breeze. The app is free, but we make 1% of every transaction. We can also settle into any local bank, and we do this with the utmost security in mind. Only one out of every three businesses in the Caribbean have the ability to accept credit cards. Here are what some of these businesses look like. These merchants cannot accept cards even though they transact daily with people who prefer to pay with plastic. With just a very small group of about a dozen beta testers, we were able to see 2,000 transactions and generate over 100,000 US dollars in volumes. We make 1% of this volume. To grow our volumes, we know we need team members with strong technical and business backgrounds. I myself have worked at Boeing for almost a decade, one of the largest aerospace companies in the world. We have other members on the team from other Fortune 500 companies such as Microsoft, Deloitte, and Nintendo, just to name a few. With five core team members, we have achieved quite a bit of traction. We also have strong business partners. Scotiabank is well respected throughout the Caribbean, and First Data is a well respected processor throughout the world. Today, I'm super excited to announce our new partnership with one of Curacao's finest payments providers, CX Pay. So this, this chain thing didn't just start yesterday. Uh, we started doing transactions in 2016, started scaling to multiple Caribbean islands uh, this year, and we intend to focus on regional and global growth in the years to come. We've noticed with two years of transactions under our belt that one of our micro merchants, each one of our micro merchants on average, on a yearly basis, does about 4,000 US dollars in sales. They do about 150 transactions, which means that we can make about $148 per year on average per merchant. With this in mind, we intend to scale up throughout the Caribbean and get to 1,000 users by 2020 and take and harness that growth rate and continue it to grow to 150,000 users. This is about a 30% market share. We also need to focus on our online payments to make this happen. We need to put development costs into getting iOS and Apple devices online, and we need to support chip cards. We also need investment to do this. So we're asking for 300,000 US dollars in exchange for 15% equity share in the business. Ching provides even the smallest businesses with an efficient means of capturing credit cards. This empowers those businesses, which empowers the economy, and makes life just a little bit easier and better for all of us. Masha Dante. Yeah, thank you very much. And we'll go to, um, before we go to the jury, we'll just go to the audience and we'll see if there's any questions for Jen. Um, you know, I think the first question will probably be, can I pay in euros? Uh, 